This is a video for Master Camera version 2.2, introducing presets. This video will be part demo, part tutorial. With the introduction of presets, it has become even easier to set up the camera you want in your game. Throughout the video, I will go from new scene to completed camera rig for a variety of camera types, showing how quick and simple it is to use Master Camera to get the desired results fast. Let's start out with just the basic follow camera. So here we're going to go new scene, then we'll just grab a terrain here and throw it out into the middle. Okay, We don't need this camera so we're going to delete that. Then we'll come to our master camera file and then we'll grab our master camera rig, throw that into the scene. Then we'll take our standard assets, character controllers, packages, third person controller, We'll throw our third person controller out into the scene. Drag him up. Okay, and then on the third person controller, we're going to take the third person camera script and we will remove that component. And we'll come back to our master camera rig and on our player variable, we will grab and drop our third person controller. Then we'll hit play. And there we go. We've got our basic follow camera. We clip through walls, there's no mouse movement, nothing fancy. So then we'll get rid of all the uh, visualizations here on the rig by searching for dash, select all these, delete those, there we go, done. Now we'll take a look at our first preset, the third person platformer. So we'll come up to new scene, we'll grab our terrain, we'll grab our third person controller, oops, we'll get rid of this component, we'll get rid of this camera, and then we will grab our master camera rig, and we will grab our third person platformer preset, drag and drop it onto our master camera rig. And you can see it resets the variables and adds the components we need. Um, it rebuilds the add-ons. In this case, it added the MC scroll add-on. So grab our third person controller to our player. And for the scroll, we need the collision layer mask. So we will set that up, add the layer, player layer, set this to player. Yes, change the children. We'll set this to player. It is by default if the layer is there. Okay, so we want to collide with everything except for the player and the ignore raycast layers. Okay, and then for the last thing we need the target mesh. So we will click on this guy and that brings up our mesh, which is, you can tell by the materials here. So we'll grab this guy and this just makes it to when you scroll in, the mesh um, is turned off so that way it doesn't, you can see it turns off so that way you're not clipping through the head. And here we go. So when we run into walls, it automatically zooms in to keep view of our character. And we're good. So we're going to get rid of all these visualizations here, finally. Come to here, this, search for dash, and then delete them. Here we are, our third person camera script, third person uh, platformer. There you go. Next up, we've got our third person shooter. So, new scene. This one is very similar to the platformer, except you have mouse look. So, we'll drag our terrain out. We'll get rid of this. And we will 
grab our third person controller, get rid of this. Then we'll get our master camera rig, and we will go to our presets, get third person shooter, drop that on there. Okay. And then we get our third person controller, our collision layer mask, since we already set up a layer, everything except for the player, and our ignore raycast, get our mesh right down there. And this also has, so this has the scroll and the strafe, so you can look over the shoulder. So here we go. Oops. Eh. Grab our third person controller, drag him up. There you go. So now this looks around with the mouse. We can still zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. We can also strafe over the shoulders with Q and E. We can run around. So shoot from over the shoulder, bang, bang, bang. Okay. Now let's kill all the visualizations. And we're good. Our next preset is the isometric over the head type camera, so Diablo style. So we'll get a new scene. We will grab our terrain. We'll get our third person controller. Don't forget to drag them up. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Grab our master camera rig. Go to our ISO camera preset. Drop that up there. So here it adjusts the variables so that way you don't you can't spin around. And this one also has a fade layer. So we're going to set up a new layer. I'm gonna call it fade. And this is so objects that get between the character and the camera fade out if you set them to. So what we're going to do is take a look at these objects right here, these three oops, three cubes here, and we're going to add that to the fade layer. I'm going to add that to the fade layer. So you could do this with trees or buildings. We'll add that. Okay. And then here, fade out layer, oops, is fade. Okay. So then when we play. Oops, hat. We've got to grab our third person controller onto our player. And there we go. So when we walk under these, they fade out. So you could also do this in buildings. So here, you're like, ah, where's the stairs? So let's move up here. Just select this guy, fade. This guy, fade. And then while we're here, let's get rid of the visualizations because we're pretty happy with that. Okay. Then we run around, get inside the building. Ah, there's the stairs or ramp, whatever. Now we're going to take a look at a real-time strategy camera, which comes with its own controller with Master Camera. So we will grab our terrain. This one takes a little bit longer to set up because it doesn't use the standard third-person character controller. So we'll grab our master camera rig, put it out here. Then we're going to go to MC Extra Files and grab our RTS setup and drop that. Okay, under RTS setup, we've got RTS bounds and RTS controller. So the controller is what goes to the player. Oh, let's get rid of this. So the controller is what goes under the player option. So we put our RTS controller here. And the bounds is the limit of where the RTS controller can go. So let's scale this guy way up to the limits of our terrain. Okay. And then... Go back to our RTS controller, 
and we've got our movement layer boundary. So this is what the bounds is. The boundary is, we'll add a layer, set up to 11 by default. So we will go RTS bounds. Okay, so we will take movement boundary layer to RTS bounds. And check our camera rig, so good. Oh, we need to go to our presets. MC RTS, drag that onto our camera rig, and then we need to grab our controller. Here we go, and we've got our fade layer again, so just set that back to fade, and I think that should be good. So here, we don't move around with the keys anymore, we move around by putting our mouse to the edge, and we've got two speeds, we've got slow and we've got fast. And so you can see we go right through the terrain. This big sphere is a visualization that we can turn off. And then we pop right up to the bounds and stop. We go through all our buildings and everything. But if we want a, our controller to be a little bit more dynamic, we can have it follow the terrain. So let's click Follow Terrain. And we need a layer for our terrain to be on. So we're going to add a layer to 10 by default uh, and we will call this terrain and then when we go back to our controller you can see that it automatically goes to terrain it goes to well, whatever is on layer uh, 10 by default and then we've got our controller height this is how high we want it to be so let's put it down here on the ground and you want it to be close to the terrain, because if it's too far away, it'll just fly away. So if we take a look here, we just fly away. So let's put this back down close to our ground. Okay, and we hit play. Whoops, what's going on? Terrain. Set our terrain to terrain. Okay. And now we should be good. Okay, so now as we go along and we find big mountains, we scroll up and over the big mountains. So it gives you a little bit more immersive feel. And then we can turn off our view border. And then we can search for all of our visualizations. Select all these, and there you go. You got yourself an RTS camera. Pink. Well, there you go. We've just set up five different types of camera, each taking about two minutes or less using Master Camera. There isn't a whole lot of reason to spend more than five minutes on your game's camera, and there really shouldn't be. The camera is one of the most basic components of any game. It is rarely thought about by the players, and now, as a developer, you can rarely think about it too.